Hey there. <clears throat> okay. Um, hey, good morning. Now, today's actually a public holiday over here. Um, long weekend, labor weekend, but when you basically sort of work at home and you work for yourself kind of stuff, then there's no such thing as holidays, really. Um, good thing. It's a good thing and a bad thing, but hey, it's fine. All right. So day one starts today of the 21 day diabetes thing and let me actually just quickly now start sharing the screen so we can get onto it all right so i logged in now i'm going to tell you something now if you guys are logging in for the first time for pre-cure and you have attached your email address good the thing is when i did the healthy habits challenge before i actually did a version to um to the eat healthy fight diabetes group you know uh, our own group um i was actually doing the challenge with precure so i had a different email address so those two things were actually sort of clashing a bit um, i noticed when i was logging in anyway so um when you go into here now you normally actually do go to dashboard and that will uh, basically give you the what the course is and uh hang on this one and then you can basically click on that where it says continue the course right and it'll just go into the screen so if i click on continue this course then i'll bring you there and i'm on day one now day one doesn't actually finish because you gotta uh there is a quiz i've i noticed this um at the end which really is a quiz around how you did at the end of the day in terms of um, did you eat a maximum of three meals um, and was it all from the green list so because i would normally be looking at this lesson early on in the day i can't really answer the quiz until like the end or near the end knowing that um, how many meals i've actually had um fairly sure that I'm actually just going to say yes anyway that I um, you know I didn't have a maximum because I only have like average on one or two meals a day anyway um, but I probably will not uh, I mean I won't actually answer correctly because I've already had um, uh, something that's not on the green list um, now that's the other thing they say a green list and I cannot find where a green list is. So I'm actually going to uh, note that down and probably um, give that feedback. I'm not quite sure. I'll have to check how often we have to give feedback back. Maybe it might be a daily thing. Um, maybe I'll just try and check actually in my emails. I'll go quickly into it. Now I've tried to actually categorize this 21, filter it, right? I take notes as I go along. Um, but that's more a personal thing, right? You don't have to do that. Now, if I go in here and just try um, I'm looking more for what they're actually looking for. This is like a general email that they will send out when they, um, to, um, to people who are doing the challenge right we're doing the challenge but we're, we're also testing their platform i think so i'm just going to go back uh no that did i just click that same one again i'm trying to find the one Okay. Um, take notes from the outset. You can give us feedback along the way or save your notes until the end, whatever works best for you. We will follow up with you at the end of the 21 days for feedback. Okay, so the, they've left it up to, to us. So what I'm actually doing and I'll go back now to day one, is in this little section here where it says take, oh, I can't see it because my picture's up there, so I'm going to move it up, up the top. Oops, that's not right. Hang on. Uh, 
Can I move it over here? No, hang on. This is this is the software that I'm using. Hang on, I think I know how to do it. You go that way, right? So I'm at the bottom. All right, that's better. So take notes. Click on that. I'll click it over here on the actual screen, and um, and it will pull off the notes that you can just pull off for that day. Okay. Now you'll notice that there's a tab up at top where it actually says notes. So when you go to save it will actually be in here so I was taking notes starting from day one and then I'll actually um, show you there what it is just remember to save it along the way and you can print it and see I never really played around that that's probably putting it into word yeah it'll be saved as a word document now um, as I said I put um, a folder in my on my desktop and I've tried to organize this so that um, I can make, I know what it is with each day and things. Um, okay, so I'm going to go back to that tab. Go back to, now, what I've worked out is that you have to actually use the, the back arrow on your browser. Um, and in particular, I noticed that when you when they basically say these things like download now i would right click this on my mouse so that i can open it in a new tab and the reason and then i would actually download that pdf and save it into my folder which i've already done for day one and then i can close the tab um, i'll close that one as well and i'm back in here but if you actually were to click this straight away then it actually replaces that tab with the folder, uh, with the PDF. So when you um, download it, then you have to actually remember, because then you're thinking, okay, well, hang on, how do I get back to that? Just go back on the browser to day one. It's just a matter of like what you're used to, but I'm more used to like right clicking on my mouse to actually open another tab so I don't have to do the back browser all the time. So let's just have a look at what day one's all about. This guy is, um, I'm going to say he's probably famous, but he's famous and I don't know if you've heard of him. Um, what's Dr. Glenn, uh, Glenn Davies? Um, but they, I said here he's a GP in Taupo. So that he is really like, you know, doing a whole lot in terms of like um, helping people change in their lifestyle, their nutrition and helping them through with really simple things rather than just giving them another prescription. He would actually help, you know, help, you know, basically um, people to reverse their, their situation, their diabetes or their type two, their pre or their type two. So he's interesting. Um, you can find him on Google too um, on that. So, there's a four minute video on with him. When you go down, obviously you're sort of reading this. Now I got to this bit and this is where the confusion happened because I have two accounts of Precure under two different email addresses because I clicked on that and then it said I wasn't actually enrolled. In, I have to enroll in the course or I have to actually log into the course. I didn't realize when I was actually, um, when I went to log in that it, because it then told me to enroll again. And I thought, well, why is it telling me to enroll? It was actually pulling up my first account. So it didn't actually have this diabetes one course on it. So um, how you get to the Zoom details is you just go to the left-hand side here and scroll up. Now, this whole section here, I actually did this yesterday. And this is where the videos came through, came that I did where I just went through each of the ones which is like the pre game warm up to day one right um, and then you just go to community connections on zoom and when you get onto that when you click onto that one here's the details start on Tuesdays throughout this challenge it'll be the three Tuesdays in October starting tomorrow then the next week and then the following week Oh, okay, it's actually 12 o'clock to 12.30. So not 12.30. So I'm going to make that change in that messenger message that I sent you, that I posted you guys. 
um, and there's the Zoom link. So if you actually log in and then you go in and then you click the Zoom link, then it will, uh, uh, you know, basically if you guys are familiar with Zoom, then you'll get in, into Zoom on that one. And it's your choice whether you have your camera on or your camera off um, to just listen to what they're actually um, going on about and things. And your chance to actually ask any questions or answers in the in the chat or live. I think. All right, so um, I'm going to do this. I'm going to go on onto Zoom and I'll be part of that. So um, if you guys can make it, it would be good if you can actually do that. All right, so let's now go back to day one and I'm just clicking it in here. So I watched Glenn and then I came down here and I watched this second video and this is part of the actual course itself where there's about 10 minutes of learning and then the other one is basically just eating the right types of food from the meal plans that they actually um, give to you and they've given a choice of whether you have low carb or you have keto and things um, all right so that's where now his one is uh, almost 12 minutes and he is a professor who teaches in Auckland University. So it can get a bit, I had to actually restart it again because I was actually doing something else as well. I was trying to listen to it, but then he's got diagrams and it really pays to just sort of like, just keep going back in the video and restarting it again if you don't understand it. You know, just keep going back and just slow it down. Um, but so you can understand some part. Most of most parts, you know, understand the gist of what he's going on about. You don't have to be like, you know, um, really up there, but just understand like the overall message that he's trying to actually send to you, right? So um, that's interesting because he is explaining exactly what type two diabetes is. All right. So um, and then there are the downloads, um, and those downloads are really quite interesting because. If I actually bring that up again, it actually looks at what are the consequences. The um, can you see? Yeah, you should be able to see that. Hang on, I'll, I'll go back to this screen so you can see it bigger. Um, where you've got Alzheimer's, a lot of things can happen when all coming from this type two diabetes. Now. He, they talk about type 1 and type 2. Type 1 is genetic. It's something that you um, you can't bring on yourself due to your changes in life because it's, it's in the genes. So it's treated quite differently what type 1 and type 2 is. But when people talk about diabetes, 90% of diabetes is type 2 or pre-diabetes, which is basically lifestyle. So that's something that we can actually control and manage and things, right? Um, and what they're saying here is that there's a lot of consequences when we don't actually manage it well. And um, like, for example, Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, autism, um, blindness is a really big thing uh, uh, coming out from diabetes. Uh, a lot of gastro problems, um, these, you know, obesity, of course, you know, uh, fatty liver. And that's primarily when you've got a really big, you know, stomach, big guts, all the fat's actually gone as building up around the organs. Um, cancer. Um, this is actually really, it's quite incredible to think that the word cancer you would think, oh my gosh, you know, this almost like a death sentence and everything else, but um, you can manage and you can control a lot of that. Obviously, the earlier you, you're able to actually do this, the great, the better, but as soon as you actually do this, you can do make a lot more positive changes um, purely by just changing the lifestyle, you know, adding some movement to your day, having eating the right types of foods, and things and you can actually do things to actually improve your health on that one so they are actually saying that um some cancers or i think they actually said most cancers can actually be preventable can be prevented just by having um healthy habits and having all those 
the good nutrition and all those things for other way. So that's really quite amazing, actually. Um, so that gingerbread man is supposed to rep represent it. Basically, what are the outcomes when you have too much of the insulin in it? So that that's actually a good PDF, PDF that one. Um, this one here, I was looking at that and I thought, hey, that's really cool too. I think I had a version of this um, in the other challenge in August. But these meals... Uh, and it's a good little like little rules, uh, not rules, guidelines of what's good to eat. You know how there's always like there's good fats, there's bad fats, there's good habits, there's bad habits, right? So there's like good nuts and not so good nuts. Um, and here, basically saying that almost like the um, the sizes of what you actually eat. It's very well to actually say you're eating fruit, but you also have to watch like the quantity and the portions of of the fruit that you're actually eating right um so yeah choose what fits in the palm of your hand okay and it's easy to not do that when you're actually cutting up a whole lot of um uh fruit and you're putting it in a really big fruit bowl thinking it's like yeah great and you're just in eating it consuming it a lot and it's actually way more than what you would normally eat if you actually ate it whole uh, the other thing about it is that um, you use a lot of fruit when you're actually making a juice and when you do that there's just way too much in the way of that fructose sugar inside the fruit that it's all concentrated in in your um in your glass that you're drinking and thing and that just produces way too much um uh, what is it, Gl uh, fructose, sugar in your blood, and it's too much for um, your body to actually sort of handle and things. That's why a lot of it will actually get stored away. So only a tiny bit will actually be used as energy that you use for energy, um, but a lot of it will be, be stored away in fat, and then it just builds up, and you get those chronic things like that gingerbread. Um, right. All right, so that's actually quite, this one's a quite a good line, um, good guideline. This could actually be, yeah, I mean, I'm noting it down. It's like, well, you're saying a green list, but you're not actually calling anything a, a green list, which I'm assuming because you only talk about keto and low carb, that it's the things on that list. Um, but I could be wrong. <laughs> okay, so let me know if it's, um, if you basically came across it and you found it. Uh, but the old, look at that. <laughs> How to make bottles something. Wow. Wow. Um, on that that's actually quite good for you i think it's coconut cream uh, more than coconut milk is actually quite good um but obviously you know it's actually saying where is it saying use a whole lot i don't know it's probably oh well you're making it for four to six anyway for families and things and then how to make your own muesli now i've never really made my muesli because i don't really have breakfast now um but i do eat a lot of bacon and um eggs but i did see a quiche recipe which i might actually sort of do um later on so i should actually get one of these and then just film <laughs> me making one of these things down there but very good and not that don't take too long and they don't require too many ingredients and you're not really going out there and buying heaps of like this really expensive health organic type of food right you're just buying um you know those particular types of fruit the um not the onions especially saying the mince mince beef or thingy is not saying go get high um high protein lean mince it's just getting mints, and that's what I do over here. We don't get all the sort of like the ones with all the trimmed and the slim and lean stuff. We just get, you know, normal one, <laughs> normal and things. So um, it's a low carb. All right, so that's that part. And then it's got an actual recipe of something that you could actually make, which um, – I think I've actually posted this one before, but it's always good to actually have that there, right, as well. Carbonara. If, totally up to you if you want to actually do that. Um, 
or you have your own way of actually cooking low carb, which is just meat and vegetables or meat and um, salad and thing. All right, and then the last bit, which I haven't actually done, um, but I will. You know, I'll just take a photo of uh, what's in my pantry and pantry and what's in the fridge. Um, as to how prepared you are, up to you. If you want to post it, I mean, I'm going to right click where it actually says you actually post that. It's in your activity section here, so you can post it in there. Yeah, oh, yeah. Some somebody chose to post a picture of that one. I don't think anybody. Um, See, so they've got some really old sort of comments here. So maybe they ran a, an initial test group, but I don't see anybody basically <laughs> doing a fridge and pantry in here. So um, hey, maybe a, when you do, when you guys actually go in, maybe it might be my one that you actually see. So. I'll do that so that's basically it for day one some lessons will be shorter some will be a bit longer but um it's all going to be focused around about managing and understanding and learning more about diabetes and things over the 21 days thanks all right okay so sorry i didn't want to make this um video really long but i'll get better at this and thanks all right so uh catch you guys any questions just do them in the messenger all right but forward fast forward this video if, um you know if it just if i'm just waffling on too much all right catch you guys later bye